Hello all, today I'm going to show you how to add chain link couplings to your Barkman Thompson Friends rolling stock to make them more realistic and accurate to the show. Adding these type of couplings can make your layout feel like less of a toy and more like a functioning railway. For this process, you will need Smith's screw link couplings, which I have provided a link for in the description, sandpaper or a file, a pin drill, some pliers, poly cement, and of course your rolling stock. To start with, you need to assemble your chain link couplings. This is a tedious process, but can easily be done with your hands. Simply bend each individual chain so they can loop around the other. You'll need three of these from your pack for each coupling. Then attach the final one to the coupling hook via the small hole behind it. A worthy note is that some chain links do come pre-assembled, however some do not. You might find you don't even have to do this process yourself. Next, you need to cut your couplings in half with your pliers. This is due to the couplings being far too long when inserting them into the slots. You don't need to have a specific measurement for this, but I always leave about 1-2cm to centimeters from the hole. The next thing you need to do is get rid of the stock standard Barkman and Hornby couplings. The best way to do this is by pliering them off. You won't be using them again, so don't worry about destroying them. Then, with whatever remains, grab your file or sandpaper and sand the area down so it's nice and smooth and nothing is noticeable to the eye when running. For the majority of Barkman's rolling stock, especially the Thomas & Friends range, they already have couplings attached. But when using your chain links, you're going to want to remove these couplings. This is done by grabbing some pliers and pulling them out. You might need to use a bit of brute force for this stage, but if that doesn't work or the whole piece doesn't come out, use the pliers to cut it off and sand the surrounding area. Now with your poly cement, apply it to the area where you plan to add your chain link. You can then insert the chain link like so, and leave the cement to dry for at least two hours, if not longer, before using the model. Now you may be asking, what do you do for non-Barkman rolling stock? Well the process is very similar, but this is where you will need your pin drill. Because there isn't a dummy coupling on these models already, you need to create an insert yourself. The process is the same with assembling the chain links and cutting the old couplings off and sanding the areas to remove the excess. This truck did already have a dummy coupling, but it was already part of the mould, so this was cut off with pliers and the area was sanded down. Then grab your pin drill and create a small hole in this area. Once you have created the hole, you need to then make another directly underneath it. Then grab an X-Acto knife and try to cut vertically to create an insert. Alternatively, you could still use the pin drill for this stage and create a vertical slot by positioning it at a different angle. Then you can once again insert your chain link coupling and it's really as simple as that. This process would also be the same for Barkman, Annie and Clarabels as they don't have those Barkman couplings. Now you can link your trucks or coaches up and have them running around on your layout. Just make sure you already have a coupling hook on your engines so they can couple up to them. The process is the same for the engines, you just use different chain links, but it's as simple as drilling two holes again. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learnt something new. If anyone has any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. Now, let's see some footage of these guys in action. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, or even leaving a like and a comment, it really does help the channel. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I shall see you in the next one.